out of YouTube. This is my 1987 Prowler by Fleetwood 24P camper. Done a lot of modifications to it. My plan was to put up slideshows of everything I've done and then bring you in the video, but that's not happening. So I'm just going to do a video and get it started. So I do power wash because of where I have it parked often. Um, one of my next jobs is these rims, sand them down, repaint them. Done a lot on the outside, resealed the roof, die core, and a turn on tape everywhere that I could. I uh, have a battery I got with a Harbor Freight solar panel kit to charge it. Uh, and little stuff here and there. So let's go inside. And that's where most of the work's been done. My dad, my neighbor, contributed tons to this thing. And I do appreciate it very much. Looking in. My dad's in construction, he had some hardwood left over, and it was just enough for the entire camper, except for the bathroom. You can see that this is post repair or post paint, and I'm still cleaning up, and it's also off season in the winter, so it's a little messy. Uh, but I tore apart and redid the entire front. Hopefully, I'll be able to put some pictures up eventually of that slideshow. I just painted white and I got some gray paint from a neighbor for the trim. That's going to be the accent. Uh, rebuilt this bunk bed here. Or bunk bed. Rebuilt this futon here. Mattress. Into a couch slash bed. Built the frame out and put that up. Uh, fresh water tank. Water pump down there. Built that out of an old filing cabinet. as a heavy duty. So that actually holds all of my towing equipment so that works very well for that um, took out the bunk here I'm just gonna put a railing up keep it simple uh, I have some trim some old leftover pallets that my neighbor's gonna help me rip down and make trim for this joints uh, resealed that outside hopefully I'll have that slideshow up soon um, built this out of pallet wood just carry that around back from the old camping days it was a step into my truck tent in my bed uh, and the hardwood floor throughout it's wonderful love it the dinette table was turned so that it was long ways it takes up less room in the walkway here got my desk chair in here just for seating uh, I've painted the front I'm gonna take care of the back hopefully before the next season and I'm just kind of taking it in stages working my way through kitchen's very nice everything works this left sink leaks a little bit um, I do have an old desk from my brother I'm gonna make or with my dad into a countertop and a table and a counter in the bathroom there uh, everything else is gonna stay hopefully I'll get new handles and everything for all of the cabinets uh, I had to switch this when we put the hardwood in because of the trim so I made it into a left open instead of a fold down um, it is full shore power and 12 volt, so that works great. Um, and I have run off the battery boondock or dry camping in uh, what Maryland in some parks. Oh, and this is just the layout. It's very open. It's very big. Uh, fridge went bad, uh, leaked ammonia, so we ended up tearing that out. It never worked since I had it. Uh, my neighbor helped me do that and put this one in. So this came with it. It was just a dorm fridge. We put everything in and uh, secured it in the back so it ain't moving nowhere. And my dad came down and helped me build this shelf on top. So I just need to trim it out around and uh, that'll be good to go. And when I come through painting, it'll mix right in. Um, everything, like I said, works. The hood vent cooked in here many times. Oven works. My daughter does polymer clay. We actually hardened some of her stuff in there at a camp out it was great um, what else um i redid all the electrical i'm sorry about the mess it's off season and i'm just kind of working on things as i have time here all the electrical i kind of cleaned up and put out or put into one section here that's not going 
not so well. There we go. Uh, so I got the converter in there and everything all wired up nice. And I took uh, 12 volt power and ground up to here, ran it into there. Big mess in that. I'm gonna close that back up. Uh, and I have from one of my brother's old cars this head unit that I'm gonna put right here. So hopefully that'll happen soon before next season. I have some house speakers. I'm also gonna mount in the corners here and here. We'll see how that goes. Just little projects. Um, some big projects I have is I have to redo the back. The previous owner had ripped this out, resealed it, and remounted. I have a lot of structural and aesthetic work to do there. That's going to take some time, no worries. Um, made this bunk for my daughter. She comes with me now and again. And there's storage underneath. I took the two mattresses from the old bunk and I just kind of stacked them on top of each other and I have storage in here. Terrible lighting. Old point and shoot camera. Got to get started somehow. Uh, keep a thermometer back here. It is winter. We are looking at 33, 34 which is about the outside temperature. Uh, my neighbor also, I bought a rebuild kit for this uh, therm not thermostat, this unit, whatever it is. He, we took it out and he took it and tore it all apart and rebuilt it and uh, it works great. I do have some pictures for that too, but all the mud wasps are out and everything runs. It's great. I haven't used it since we rebuilt it because I'm always plugged in, but maybe one day. Full bathroom. I'm going to redo this counter. I want to get a new stainless sink for back here because it's very old. Um, totally ripped out the toilet and cleaned it up, put new seals in. That's working great. I have some RV antifreeze in there now. Keep the seal nice. Full bath works. Um, there is a fan up there. I need to adjust that. The fan hits the screen. It makes a lot of noise. But other than that, I uh, found a spare and some rims. So. Made myself a spare tire, didn't come with one. Uh, not much going on in here with that. Um, and that's about it for now, I guess. Uh, there's a lot more I've done to it. I'll go ahead and try and make some slideshows of that. And I will do videos from now on of all my updates. Uh, Got to repaint the back. I want to turn this into a, a pull-out bed so that it slides down flat. Uh, got an idea for that I found. And try and build that with some recycled pallet wood. Everything in here was uh, either, well, mostly recycled, uh, reused, or free from different sources. Um, I got most of my pallets from the dump. They would just throw them over there and I'd grab them before they shredded them. And my neighbor has a lot of extra wood laying around he's had throughout the years. Uh, the paint, he's letting me have that. My dad had all this hardwood left over, not enough for a house, but just enough for a camper. So we put that in the nice offset here with the dinette area. And then the bunk area is actually a lighter wood there. So very nice separation. It looks really good. Uh, keep the oil heater in here uh, when I'm plugged in. I'm always plugged in. Uh, the only time I've been boondocking, which is great, and I use LED lights I got. See how bright that is? Here's the old one I left in. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's a yellow, uh, duller, more dull uh, light there. So I love the LEDs. Use hardly any battery. We run off of the Harbor Freight controller here, plugged in for our USB charger phones and such while we're out. Uh, so it's been working great. Love this thing. It's been fun. Good projects. Good times. Um, we're just going to keep rolling. So I will post next time I have an update and I'm making a point to do videos instead of just taking pictures and making posts so hopefully those will come soon and we'll keep this going all right that is about everything so thanks for checking it out and I will talk to you all soon <laughs>